The last decade of the 20th century marks the start of a new era in man's exploration of space. In the coming years, interplanetary spacecraft will study the spectacular rings of Saturn, the dense clouds of Venus, the scarred terrain of Mars, and the hellish surface of the Sun. All of these missions build on the legacy of the two Voyager spacecraft, which are now shut down. Uh, it's all called eugenics. If we want to know what governs our world, it is eugenics. The UT professor, the head of the botany department, told my father, eugenics is good and real, it's just Hitler only went after certain groups. We're going to go after bad genes across the board through all groups with this, you know, uh, a mutation. And later you learn that guy's a mutant too, and he's like, I just used it as a way to have power over genetics and the future. They are just throwing it in our face at every level. Everything I've read in the UN documents, the Club of Rome documents, the MIT reports, the Air Force reports, the Pentagon reports, all the things they push, the, the transhumanism, the global Agenda 21 standardization of all nations, education, breeding, population, everything. That's the real power of the UN. They secretly take your blood for 40 years. In Germany for 40 years, in England for 40 years. It's, it's the same global standardization. And when you finally learn about this and you learn they act like we're a bunch of dumb animals and they operate pretty much in plain view. It's all in the white papers, it's all in the reports, it's all there about they're going to establish a world government. They're going to lovingly exterminate most people once it's in place with controlled bioweapons. That it's for the good of the earth and then only the super genes will, will interbreed and humans will live 500 years. They're science fiction people. And they will argue, they'll say, look, we built the world. We controlled its destiny. Look at what we've done. Yeah, you've really screwed up humanity. You've taken our weaknesses and maximized them. Because you weren't really As we lay down the body of our dearly departed friend, Kenneth Nicholson, we are called into remembrance of his life, and are reminded of the comfort and the promise that he will rise again, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, earth to earth. Now, if we can all just make our way back inside for the remainder of the service and closing prayers. Yes, that's it. Just inside. I'll join you inside shortly. Hello? Oh, hi, darling. No. 
No, I'm free to talk. Yes. Everybody's gone home now. But thank God it's over. I don't have to do another one of those for at least another month. Hey. Hey, we're off to the Bahamas next week. Oh, God, I really hate this special service, you know. You know, I really hate it when they want to have a proper burial and they send them off to God knows where. Why can't they just burn them like normal people? I mean, it's not like they're coming back or anything like that. <laughs> Hold on a minute, Cheryl. I'll call you back. I'm the devil. Ancient cultures once called on these superstitions as the answer. The reason we are all here. Thankfully, we live in a more cultured society today and have condemned that type of science to the dustbin along with all the other boogeymen. No, the real reason we are all here is because of science. And physics is at the heart of it. With it, we are able to explain not just why something is, but what it does. What its purpose is in the grand design of things. Today, we have technologies only dreamed of in older cultures. In the time of Christmas, Columbus, Perhaps you would like to share with the class what your thoughts are on evolution. Right, uh, right, 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 uh, evolution, uh, evolution, uh, okay, right, okay. Here we go. Evolution is... Actually, I don't believe in evolution. Yeah, because his mum married an ape. <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Hart. Clearly, you haven't been listening to this lecture. Don't believe in evolution. Anyway, despite Mr. Hart's lack of faith, for want of a better word, we all know that Darwin's studies have enlightened man and took him out of the dark ages of ignorance and superstition. Okay, Ben, have you got that? All right. Make sure you go and see Dad later because he says it's urgent. Okay. Okay. All right, I got it, sis. All right, Ben. See you later. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all right, all right, I finished late, so I'll call, all right, I'll call you after the gig. All right, yeah, love to the kids. Yeah, <laughs> love you too, babe. <laughs> Women. So what was all that about? Oh, what about? You know exactly what I'm on about. Yeah. You know it's not good. I'm fine. You say that now, but... I just saw in Mr. Lyons' class. I said I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Listen, if you two bitches have finished moaning, I'd rather just finish my lunch in peace. Mike, you do know that they're talking about suspending you if you fail another test. Heh. <laughs> so what else is new? Well, you know, I'm just saying... Are you still seeing that doctor? <laughs> <laughs> 
head shrink more like. Yeah. Got my next appointment after lunch. You want a lift over? Nah. Listen, Ben. I'm not feeling too well. I'm gonna take a walk over there. Hopefully the air will clear my head. Jules. Mm. Later. Mm. 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 Jules. I think he's okay. He's not been taking his medication. <laughs> Whoa, 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 listen, right? All I know is I haven't taken enough of my medication. <laughs> I'm serious, Jules. Remember what his mum said if he had another fit? <laughs> <laughs> serious, eh? <laughs> Me too, man. Me too. Listen, man. If you ask me, it's all them drugs his mum's got him taking that's causing all this shit. <laughs> you want to talk to me Listen, about drugs? Listen, right? <laughs> Listen, right? This thing has never made me start going crazy, right? All that stuff you got him on, making him see things and bad dreams, between you, his mum, and that shrink, got him so you don't know what day it is. <sighs> oh, it's your sister. What? What? Never mind. What? <sighs> Never mind. Hey, where you going, man? Hey, where you going? TA. TA, eh? Yeah? <laughs> TA. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Tell your sister I said hello. TA. Let me show you where it's at. I'm Mr. Hart to see you, Dr. Schroeder. Send him in. Oh, hello, Michael. Please sit down. Yes, I can see you were last here on the 14th. Oh. Oh, very good. How is family? All right. Oh, fantastic. Yes. And how are the nightmares? You know... Alright. I... I had another dream. I see. It seems to me that we are not yet past the worst of it. I'm prescribing you four of these to be taken twice daily. Take this. And I'll see you in another month. Goodbye. Thanks. Yes, Mum. Did you remember to go to your doctor's appointment? Yes. Hmm. Hands off, Looney Bin. You don't touch the new shit. You freak. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. No. Uh, Who's that with Paddy and Michael Richard Hart! Uh, Stop messing with that TV and coming at your dinner! Oh, Mum! <laughs> Quiet, Chris, uh, and don't you arm on with me. You know I have my favourite programme coming on now. Oh, Mum, I want to watch the footy. Michael! It's on after the news. Michael, this is the last time I'm telling you. Stop messing with that TV and put my programme on! So, yes, Lanini is causing all Yes, Mum. Chris, honey, don't scratch it. Oh, Mum! The doctor said you need to give it time to heal. Yeah, Chris. You don't want it to fall out. 
Otherwise you won't get paid. Yeah, well you won't be laughing long when you have to finally get a job. Hey, you know that's not fair. You know it's been a bad time. Michael, Christopher, that is enough. Oh, Mum, I can't believe this. You're always defending him. Go easy on your brother, Chris. He's having a hard enough time right now. But, Mum... You know jobs are hard to come by right now. Michael get another job when he can. In the meantime, he has to take things easy so he doesn't have another fit. Oh, Mum! I don't need... Hey, Mum, did you get my flu stuff? Oh, I'm sorry, love. I didn't get a chance to collect your prescription after work. I'll go through it first thing in the morning. <sighs> I won't be able to wait. I've got another double shift tomorrow. It seems ever since work changed to the chip system, we've had problems with the wages. Everyone is taking time off, and the management won't even hire new staff. So we just had to work flexi time until we sort things out. <sighs> be patient, honey. <sighs> after all, we do need the money. <sighs> yeah, I suppose. Yeah, Chris. Don't cry about it. You what? <laughs> Shut it, dweeb. <laughs> yeah, Chris. You f... Oi! F f Dick. <laughs> you what? Oi! You f... Do you need a hand with that one? Hey, Mum. Do you mind if I watch the footy after your show? And... Hey, Chris. You don't look well. Oh gosh, Chris, you don't look good, man. You don't look well. He's just a little under the weather. He's just come back from Dr. Martin's surgery. <clears throat> there was a queue right round to the post office. Seems everyone's getting that flu jab. That reminds me, I made an appointment to get yours on Friday. Oh, Mum! But Mum, I feel fine. I said I feel fine. No ifs or buts, you're going this time. Right. Hey, Chris. Like Dr. Martin shoved his boots in your face. Fuck you. Better looking than you are. No, seriously. You look like you need to see a doctor or something. Oh, oh God, oh, oh, move, oh, move, oh, I'm going to be sick, oh. Chris, honey, is everything all right? Do you want me to call a doctor? Oh, no, no, I'm just going to be sick, oh, God, oh. oh. Hey, Chris, <laughs> you sure you flush your towel up there? Don't want to leave any cling on. Michael, that's enough. Oh, no. Oh, God. No. Like it? That's a new science and intelligent satellite workstation. It monitors deep space and warns us of any imminent threat. What's Project Wildfire? Tinker toys, pet names. Now it's got to give their experiments fancy names, so we don't just call it looking out in the sky. Don't worry about that, son. Damn sounds crap. Probably will bore the crap out of you. Here's my exam result, Dad. Really? Well, let me see. Only a star. Seems we might have been a little bit too lenient on you. In the time you go and see those loser friends of yours. They're not losers, Dad. Oh, not losers, eh? No, sir. I mean, Dad, but... Well, my mistake. I thought I could have done a better job of raising my son. Nelson. How about you grow a pair of brass balls? And then you tell me whether or not I could have done a better job for the family. No, sir. No, Dad. No, sir. But... No? Oh, I see. It's probably all that trash talking those boys are doing these days. It makes them think they're tough. But I doubt they could walk all over my parade. 
See? Now what's that? What's what? Give me that damn girl. What? Oh, I see. What's what? Give it here. God, no. See? That's exactly what kind of things I'm talking about. God, no. See? God, this no. This is exactly what kind of thing I'm talking about. Jabber, jabber. God, no. Leaving in all that mumble jump. I raised my boy to be an army man. Now he's talking about voodoo. Well, we'll have no more of that talk of space monkeys on my ship. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Call in. Yes. That's it. Now on all you gaps, and you finger snappers, you toe tappers, and you love lapses, I want y'all to say this with me. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> 